Hi y'all, it's Tara from Cousin Earth and I am here tonight to show you how to change out reed plates inside of your melodica. Uh, it's that time of year again when I blow out a reed. I get very excited and I blow out a reed I would say maybe once a year or so. And uh, the last time I went to change the reed plates inside this baby, uh, this time last year about, um, I realized there were no instructional videos online. so. I thought I would make one. And I'm also going to briefly go into how to tune the melodica. If you uh, have ever, you know, heard one of your keys, your um, tones is out of pitch, I'm going to show you also briefly how you can tune the melodica instead of just having to buy a new one every time it goes out of tune a little bit. So I do apologize for the quality of the video. I know there's some lag, but this is what I have to work with right now. Um, I play a Mylotica. It's wooden. It's handmade. Um, as far as workhorses uh, go for Melodicas, this is probably the best. I think I probably play this instrument more than most sane people on this earth. <laughs> so, um, you know, with a lot of use, it, it requires a lot of care. It's a high maintenance little thing. So um, I open it up quite often to tune it. Um, the little reed plates on the inside look like this. Part of what I like about the Mylotica is that they sell on Melodicas.com. They sell uh, a replacement set of the reed plates. I think one of the hardest parts about replacing the reeds in the Melodica is finding the reed plates. So uh, I like the Mylotica also because I was able to purchase along with it from the website a K&K Sound Big Shot um, pickup, which I installed on the back here. It's one of those little piezo crystal pickups, uh, and then I can just run a quarter inch out of it. I use a DI as well um, to, uh, you know, amplify the sound to get it coming out of the out of the PA, out of you know, making all that goodness. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the difference between the sound of a reed that's just sharp. My uh, F here is sharp, and then I have my G up here, which is just completely blown out. So I'm going to first of all show you the difference here. <laughs> So this, when I snap a tuner, a snark tuner onto it, I would say it's about 10 cents sharp. Um, that is something I can fix with a file, opening it up and tune, filing down that little replay I showed you before to tune it up. Now this guy wasn't a mess, all right? Watch my hand, I am changing keys. That is a blown out read. It's a G that is sounding more like an F than a G. Uh, it doesn't matter how long I scratch that little read, it's not going to um, <laughs> not going to get into it. That is just blown out, which means I have to replace the read plate up here. So um, now I'm going to open it up and we're going to see what's inside. All right. Okay. So I opened her up. To open her up, I just unscrewed the end cap. And then you pull the keyboard piece out of the casing piece. My pickup is still uh, resting lovely there on the back. No harm, no foul. And uh, you definitely want like a standard size Phillips head. Um, and I also have a Leatherman on hand in case I need it. And um, I have this little set of tiny little soldering screwdrivers. Also very handy because we're going to need them when it comes time to change the uh, reed plate. We're going to need the itty bitty little Phillips head. So once I pull out the keyboard part, bam! Then you got to unscrew this little cover here that holds in the air to make sure that the melodica sounds essentially. So I unscrewed that. You do have to be a little bit gentle when peeling this off because it's going to be sticky from your saliva, son. Okay. So uh, I unscrewed it. And I wiggled it off before I started the camera. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, look at all that. It's all corroded and nasty from play. That's a brand new reed plate versus the old ones that I've been playing for a little over a year. So uh, if you want to tune the melodica, you need a shim. This is just a tiny little piece of cardstock that um, I use. 
and you need, uh, where's my little file guy? You need a little file. Before I bought this file, I used a piece of fine sandpaper rubber banded to a chopstick, and that also works. So you do not need a file like this, but they do also sell these on melodicas.com. So, uh, in order to tune the reed, for example, I had uh, the F that was sharp here, right? So when I turn it over, I'm going to play that F, and you can see the air valve open. See right here? That's how I'm going to make sure I have the right reed plate, or the right little reed. These are the reeds that look like this little match sticks right there. So I've got the F. I'm positive it's the F. I'm going to place my little shim underneath it, like so. You see? And just to double check... Yep, I did. I got the right one. You can tell with that little valve there. So now, since my um, my tone was sharp, I want to flatten the tone to bring it to you know perfect, the perfect, the perfect pitch. So in order to flatten the tone, I'm going to to file the back of the reed that's welded to the reed plate. If I want to make it sharp, if my note is flat and I need to sharpen the tone, I'm going to file towards the tip of the reed here. The closer to the end, either end, the more drastic the pitch change is going to be. This is a tedious process because you need this piece secure and tightened in order to hear the true pitch. This holds in the air. So every time you want to see how close you are, to, uh, you know, tuning the melodica and getting that reed back in tune, you have to close it and tighten it and play into it and check it with, I use a snark tuner. Um, the cool thing is I've done it enough at this point that I have a feel for how much to scratch the reed. Um, so if you're as crazy as I am and play this instrument all too much, you will develop a feel for it, um, not after too long. So uh, I will go ahead and tune this. After the video, I won't put you through watching me file a reed, but um, I am going to remove this reed plate now. Uh, this is the one that I have to replace the highest one where that um, where that note was blown out. So I'm going to use one of those tiny little soldering Phillips head screwdrivers that I showed you. And I'm going to take this reed plate off, and I will be right back and show you what's underneath there. Here we go. All right, here we go. So all I did was unscrew the tiny, tiny little screws using that soldering screwdriver, Phillips head, and now I peel it off. Ba-bam! So that little uh, notch in the plastic allows the air to flow uh, above and beneath the reed, which, you know, and then the, you press the key, which allows the air to flow out of that specific note and then your reed vibrates and it sounds and we have music it's music magic so uh something else that's pretty cool about the fact that melodicas.com sells the replacement reed plate is they also sent me a nice little bag of screws thank you um now i don't have to worry about reusing my screws and stripping those screws so this actually is not the right size reed plate. Um, I do recommend taking a picture of the inside of your melodica before you take it apart, just to make sure you put it back together again. Uh, I am clumsy to say the least, so I always recommend taking a picture of anything before you open it up. Um, I also open up the micro cord to change out the plastic keys. I get a little excited with those two and I break them. You can change them out, but take a picture of the inside of your instrument before you mess with it. So this is the correct reed plate. You can tell because the size of the reeds are the same. So that's the old one. And this is the new one. And uh, all I have to do now is just screw it back into place. And I'm actually, even though I bought the other two reed plates, I'm not going to replace those yet because Lord knows it's only a matter of time until I blow out one of the reeds in the lower octave. It is easier, I think, to blow out the reeds in the higher octave. I blow those out the most often because the reeds are the they're smallest. They're the most delicate, the finest. So I'm going to screw it back together. I did take the time to tune that lower octave uh, while I was unscrewing this reed plate, the highest octave reed plate. So I'm going to put it back together let you know how it sounds. This is the melodica I used on our upcoming album, Human Music. So you can hear her in action and even in the studio. All right. Okay. So I used my tiny little soldering screwdriver to screw in the tiny little screws that hold that reed plate. 
onto this the plastic body piece of the melodica. And now I'm using my standard size Phillips head to screw the casing that traps the air back on. This goes right over where those replates were. And uh, she's back together. I will put her in the casing after the video. But uh, let's hear how that uh, blown out reed sounds now. Hey, we did it. So uh, check out Human Music by Cold and Earth. It will be coming out on April 27th. Our CD release party will be at the Bowery Electric in Manhattan in New York City. I hope to see you there. And if you can't make it, just check out the album. You'll be able to hear this little girl in action. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And feel free to message me with any questions or comments. The melodical community is a small one. So I'm you know, happy to, happy to help in any way I can. Take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, Earthlings.